Hi, Salim Omar here from CPA Marketing Genius. Uh, welcome to this Facebook Live. Many practice owners that I talk to, they want to increase their their top line. They want to increase their, their revenues. And they're ready to spend money on effective marketing to bring in more clients. Well, when I ask them a few questions to learn more about them, I find out that they either don't have a team, uh, they're lone wolves, they're doing it all themselves, or they have a team that's broken. And it's important to have a championship team in place before you spend lots of money on marketing. So in this Facebook Live, I want to share with you what I consider to be one of the most important things when it comes to building a, uh, building a championship team. And that important thing is to create a communication platform. Now, when I talk about, when I mention the word communication platform, this is consisting of meeting with your team on a regular basis so that there is two-way dialogue between daily huddles, weekly meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings, monthly team meetings to track progress uh, on goals and accountability, uh, trimester meetings, and then an annual meeting. So your year is spread with having several types of meetings so that you have that exchange, you have that communication with your team. Now, I'm going to share with you a, a few important things to make your communication platform effective, for your communication platform to give you the results that you want it, you know, you want to you wanna get from them. Number one, do not skip meetings make them part of your part of what you guys do what you part of your organization get it on the calendar and create a mindset that things have to revolve around those meetings client meetings etc etc uh, have to you know ha they revolve around having those scheduled meetings on the calendar the only reason you will not have a meeting or you will skip a meeting is for unforeseen circumstances like an earthquake or a volcano. So you kind of get the the, 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 the impression that they've got to take place. Uh, for the most part, they, you know, they need to be, they need to take place. So number one, do not skip meetings. Number two, become very clear about the purpose of the meeting. The, the reason to meet on a regular basis is not to point out mistakes. It's not to point fingers. It's not to, to share all the things that are not working well. The purpose of the meeting, because what that's going to do is it's going to suck energy out of everyone. Uh, your team members, including yourself, you're going to dread the next meeting if the meetings are all about what's not working. So you want to... You want to, you know, become clear about the purpose of the meeting, and that is to talk about things that are not working, but they're also to talk about things that are working, right? Start off with talk, talking about things that are working, successes, wins. Talk about goals and progress being made with those goals. So become very clear about what the purpose is to meet on a regular basis. Third and final thing is as the leader come from a place of being heart-centered. Practice heart-centered or servant uh, servant leadership. Come from a place of caring and, and serving. Make the meetings about your team, not about you. And you make the meetings about you when there's a lot of I, 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 and you make, the you know, you make it about them by uh, having the word you. Things that you, you know, the things that uh, are helping people perform at a higher level and, and so forth. Make sure that your team feels valued, they feel inspired, they feel empowered. And that's you as a leader showing up and being present during these meetings so that people feel those uh, that, that type of connection. Let your team know that you notice that they matter. Appreciate your team. And having a communication platform is a great, uh, a great place to share that appreciation, to share, uh, your sentiment towards, towards your, your, your team. So building a championship team to, to, to recap, to summarize is critically important. If you're going to build a team, 
you want to if you're you know to, to build a successful lifestyle practice you want to pay attention to three areas client attraction streamline operation and championship team but too many times people focus on the top line on client attraction and bringing you know thinking you know focusing you know spending money and bringing in clients but they don't have the team in place so important to really pay attention to to having you know a championship team and the best way i know from being in practice for 24 years is to have a communication platform meet with your team on a regular basis and make these meetings different unique extraordinary by the three tips that i shared with you by not skipping meetings uh, by becoming clear about the purpose of the meetings and then you as the owner as the leader coming from a place of heart center from a place of caring and uh, and 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 sharing yeah I uh, hope this was useful to you. I uh, would love to get your comment about what resonated the most with you. So take a few seconds and, uh, and share that. Thanks for watching this. And until the next Facebook Live, uh, have, a great, uh, have a great week. Thanks.